Good morning. Hi. Hello. Do you like this mood lighting that we have in here in my office? <laughs> What's up, you guys? It is bright and early on a Tuesday. Um, it's 7.20 a.m. and I am just at my desk doing work stuff. I have my fall mug that I just got from Joann's. It's going to be 90 degrees today, but I like fall mugs. Also, I have my water. Having a good time. It's so funny. I feel like up until 2020, I was always so like, I needed to have a morning routine and it had to be the same every day. And like, that's how you start your day. But I've always hated morning routines. I'm an Enneagram six wing seven. So like the six is the anxiety part of my personality. Um, and the seven part of my personality is like the part of me that doesn't like commitment, wants to be a free bird. But um, yeah, so I always felt like I had to have like a very specific morning routine and like I had to journal and do my God time and prayer and like do things all the same all the time. And it always stressed me out always. <laughs> um, and so in 2020, I've really embraced this like, wake up and do what you want <laughs> routine, which sounds like, it sounds so like anti like self help anti coach to be like, do what you want, dude. Um, but yeah, I realized that I kept putting so much pressure on myself in the mornings to have like a really specific morning routine. And now I mean, I kind of plan it out. So like, it's not like I wake up and it's like, what do I feel like doing? Because like, the answer to that would always be watch One Tree Hill on my couch, but um, so yeah, some mornings I wake up and I go right to my computer. Today is one of those days. I'd say probably two days a week I wake up early um, when it's like kind of dark out and I go right to my computer and I work for whatever reason. Something about this mood, energy, lighting, and uh, working like when it's still dark out, I have like a lot of creative juices flowing. It's really easy for me to stay focused. Um, so I do that some mornings and then a couple mornings of the week, I wake up and yeah, like I go down on the couch and I read thriller novels. <laughs> like um, I just wake up and I do that for two hours. And other mornings I'll wake up and actually do like devotional prayer, God time. Um, but I'm so much more flowy with it now with all of that and just giving myself that permission to just do whatever feels right for that morning. Again though, I, I plan it out on my Google Calendar. You guys wanna see my Google Calendar? It's insane. But like, <laughs> that's my Google Calendar. And I uh, usually, like literally on a Sunday, I'll be like, okay, like I wanna have an earlier start Monday and Wednesday. I wanna have a later start Tuesday, Thursday. On, you know, Wednesday, I want to, it'll be midweek. So like, I wanna wake up and just read thriller novels. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, hi. Today is a really busy day. Looking at my schedule, I've got not a lot of client calls, but I've got a coaching call with my business coach. I've got uh, a coaching call for my business coaching clients, and I have a couple of fitness client calls and just some work. So today's a busy day. Um, so I'm gonna take you guys through my day, but I also wanted to talk a little bit more about just like my fitness stuff and like my routines and you know things that I do to really take care of myself because I know a lot of people are curious about what that looks like for me. And yeah, I feel like I don't always translate that. So that was why. You just got a speech about my morning routines and life in the morning. And yeah, I am wearing a full smoky eye at 7.30 in the morning because I filmed a makeup routine last night. You're welcome for the like seven of you who've been asking. Um, and it was too pretty to take off last night. So I took off my face makeup and I left my eye makeup. It is what it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get back to work. I'll show you guys even like the supplements that I'm taking right now because I have actually found supplements that I'm so happy about and so excited about. Um, I'll show you guys what I'm eating today. I'll talk later about workouts, whatever I'm doing, and yeah. What do we do in here? I'm helping the kids work out. I don't think she wants to work out. Are you sure? What are you? What? <laughs> Put her down. That has to hurt her. Yeah. I'm sorry, honey. Dad is so it's, mean. It's spread out. It's no. Get stop it. I will save you. <laughs> 
Oh, Mama is okay. Oh. You're free. <laughs> mean. Hello, we've got the world's harshest lighting right now because I've got my uh, treadmill screen lighting up my face, but that's okay. I'm on the treadmill doing my warm up for my workout. Today's workout's gonna be really basic. It's really just gonna be about 30 to 40 minutes of <sighs> incline walking where I'll just bring the incline up. Uh, the Nordic track does insane inclines, um, but I'll bring the incline up and I will walk. Um, I like that a lot better than running on a treadmill. Running on a treadmill inside just makes my soul die. <laughs> um, I like to do sprint intervals on the treadmill, but I actually like rolled my ankle in June and it literally took like a month, probably like six weeks to feel like it had healed. So I did sprints like three or four weeks ago and I could just tell my ankle was not happy with it. So. We're not doing sprint intervals on here. I will just walk on an incline and that feels just fine. But anyway, I wanted to really quickly talk about my my workouts and kind of like my fitness stuff for the last several months. Um, I feel like years ago, I was always really committed by committing myself to these like dedicated cuts. Like, I'm gonna lose 15 pounds in three months. I'm, I'm gonna do all of these things and lose all this weight in this period of time. Whereas in the last couple of years, I feel like it's more so where if I feel like I want to lose a few pounds, which for me in the last several years, it's never been more than like five to seven pounds that I've ever wanted to get off. I don't have a massive amount of weight that I want to lose personally. I, I tend to just take things a lot slower now and I, <clears throat> I rely more on just little changes to help me over time. I would say probably in about April, I started intentionally tightening up my diet more, being a little more intentional with the intensity of my workouts. And I would say, I haven't really stepped on a scale since April, maybe, but I can just tell from my body and the way I look in the mirror, I would say I've probably lost maybe five pounds. Maybe like five to seven pounds, I don't know. I'm like, I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, I, I, for me it's really just, an intentional like, hey, I'm gonna tighten up my diet a little bit more. I might track more consistently than I normally do uh, because normally most of the time I'm not tracking a ton. Um, but at this time I'll track at least until dinner, at least four to five days a week, just to be really intentional. Uh, I've been working out a bit harder, usually five to six days a week where it used to be maybe like, four to five days, I guess it's always been about five days a week that I aim for, but uh, my intensity has just picked up. I'm doing a little bit more cardio than normal, right? So I'm just making these like small incremental changes that really don't feel like I'm dieting. I think most of us hate that feeling of dieting. I mean, I guess it can be motivating and exciting for a little bit of time, but for me, I just like to make some small changes and know that over time, I'm gonna see a payoff. I'm better on weekends, but I don't really track on weekends. I don't deny myself things that I want on weekends. So like, yeah, slower progress is expected for me, but it's something that I like and prefer because the last four months have not felt like I've been dieting. It's felt like I'm just living my life. I'm just a bit more intentional than I used to be. I know this is different for what than what most people want. Most people are like, I have 10, 15, 20 pounds to lose. I wanna lose it as quickly as possible. That used to be me. Um, but I realized that that just really kept catapulting me between these these like cycles of, oh, I'm trying really hard to lose weight. And then like, oh, I feel really restricted and I'm really tired of dieting and I just wanna be free. And then I'd like overdo it for a while. And then like, I'd be constantly going back and forth between these two extremes. Whereas in the last two years, it's more so we're like maybe four to six months not even really that, it's usually about four to five months, I don't know. Yeah, so, I don't know, that's kind of what I'm doing. I've just been a lot more intentional with my food. Uh, having Icon meals, which I'll show you guys later, but I've talked about recently, having that has helped me so much because my food is really thoughtless for me now. I, I don't, I'm not even really thinking about food or planning for food because those meals are always there. So I'm not really m nutrition minded all of the time, like a lot of times people can feel while dieting. It's like you're always thinking about your next meal and what are you gonna eat and what can you make and what can fit. Like I don't have, I don't experience that. 
I don't really experience it much normally anymore, but I really don't experience it with Icon meals. It's literally like I roll into the kitchen. I'm like, ah, cool. I'll have this meal. And it's as simple as that. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what's been going on. I think I'm going to continue this like tightening up until maybe end of September, October, just see if I can make any more progress. Um, but you know, it's, it's like, I don't even feel like I'm doing anything that I don't want to keep up. I feel so good and I feel just like my habits have changed and improved so much. My food quality has changed and improved so much that I, I don't know. I feel really good. I'm really happy. Um, so that's kind of what the fitness routine is looking like for me. As for my workouts, man, I've just been talking a lot this video, but as for my workouts, um, I would say out of five to six workouts a week that I'm doing, one to two of those days is cardio like this. Um, a lot more in intense than this. I'm walking kind of slow to talk to you guys. Um, but my cardio, I'll do cardio like one to two days a week. Um, it's usually one run outside as long as it's not like 90 degrees and one like more intense incline walk on the treadmill. Um, if it is hot outside, then I'll do maybe two incline walks on the treadmill every week. Um, but my, my three to five, three to four other workouts are usually high intensity, um, like circuit training, body weight or lightweight, uh, high rep, really just me kind of trying to go balls to the wall for like 30 to 40 minutes. Yeah, um, I've even recently started getting into um, some beach body workouts, which is like crazy. I don't like beach body as a company, especially their nutrition stuff. I actually, I can't say I, I mind them as like, I don't know, whatever. I like their workouts though. Um, like, like Insanity is one of Beachbody's workouts. Um, stuff like that, just like go crazy and have fun with it for 20, 30, 40 minutes. Um, sweat your butt off. I love that. I, that makes me feel so good. So I've been doing stuff like that um, to kind of cr increase that intensity because again, like that's really what's gonna just keep making changes and making a difference in my body is always finding a way to just in improve by 1%, right? So that's been what I've kind of been doing lately throughout the summer and it feels really good. It feels really easy. Uh, I, I've still had a lot of vacations, weekends away, weekends uh, celebrating my birthday recently. Yeah, so it's been good. I literally talked for eight and a half minutes. Hopefully my editor can dial this back a little bit, I'm sorry. I hate when I just do videos where I'm just like talking the whole time. I feel like I haven't ta talked about my fitness goals for a while, so. I want you to jump like you trying to get stuck in the air. If you feeling so lit and don't care, shorty sure beat in the face in the mirror, up in the air. I want you to jump, 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 meetings, calls, things of that nature. Um, I'm also launching Balance and Thrive right now. Oh my gosh, how did I, I always forget to tell you guys, but uh, by the time you watch this, this will be like literally the last day that I'm holding a uh, Balance and Thrive enrollment open. So if you've been thinking about that, you're wanting in, uh, I'll leave a link in the description box below so that you don't miss out on the, <laughs> literally the last chance to join Balance and Thrive this year, actually, because I'm not gonna open enrollment again until well into 2021. Wow, yeah, so this is the last round of Balance and Thrive in 2020. So, uh, you should join that. So, I didn't have time to film earlier because I was grabbing a snack right as I got onto a call with my business coach, but I had this. This was literally, like, basically my lunch. I had this at, like, 12 o'clock. Yeah, just three servings of this. That's right, chips. Chips were my lunch. In case you didn't know, it's okay to have chips for lunch sometimes. Well, first of all, let's back up. A lot of people think that chips are bad and you can't have them period or else you're bad or you're not good at dieting or something or you're not healthy literally couldn't be further from the truth like are chips the most nutritious thing i could ever eat no but are they something that i love and enjoy and was really craving earlier yes and you know the longer that i've spent being a healthy person the more i've realized is when you have a craving it's really best to just indulge it when it hits 
and you know practice some portion control right I didn't just like bring the whole bag upstairs I poured three servings into a bowl I took it with me when I was eating them I was literally feeling like I want the whole bag I love these chips but once I actually got through my three servings I was like I'm actually good like I don't need more I mean I find that to be true with most of the time when I have a craving and I just indulge it on the spot is that I don't need a lot to satisfy that craving now if I said okay Lynette you can't have chips for until you're having a cheat day or something I mean I don't know that's what I used to do and my craving for chips was just like insurmountable like it was constantly this feeling of like I wish I could have a whole bag of chips you know what I mean like the longer you don't let yourself indulge in something the bigger that in that craving really gets and we don't want that we want to be able to have small amounts of the things we love in our diet even if it's not traditionally nutritious um, and know that that's okay and that there's space for that in a healthy diet and that actually having things like chips if that's what you love can be part of your healthy process part of your diet not a deviation from it those chips didn't take me off track or make me unhealthy they're just we were it was just a snack plain and simple a calorie controlled portion controlled snack that killed a craving I feel amazing and I'm gonna move on with my day so I'm hungry though because chips is not like, I was gonna say real food. It is real food, but it's not, there was no protein in that. So I'm very hungry now. So I don't want this video to just turn into like Lynette eating four icon meals and chips, <laughs> but it might, I don't know. What do I wanna eat? All right, I decided I want eggs and cheese. That's it. I just want eggs, scrambled eggs and cheese. So I'm gonna make that, which, uh, I feel like my last full day of eating, I basically had icon meals and eggs. <laughs> it's like it's literally my favorite food groups, honestly, honestly. So I'm gonna make that really quick. Food, 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 food. All right, nothing sexy, nothing special. Didn't even show you me cooking these eggs because it was literally four eggs. Yeah, four eggs. No egg whites because egg whites taste like crap. <laughs> To me anyway a lot of the time so I literally just cooked four eggs with a serving of shredded cheddar because that's what I wanted just like warm salty fatty eggs and I'm excited about it um, so I'm actually tracking today and I have figured out already what I'm gonna be doing for my next meal and uh, just to let you guys know kind of where I'm gonna be ending up today is I'm gonna be ending up at 84 grams of fat 124 grams of carbs and 98 grams of protein these are not untypical macros for me and also the calories are about 1650 these are not atypical for me i tend to enjoy a higher fat diet i just love fatty foods and also having a higher fat diet is more satiating and so i just like really don't get very hungry most of the time um which is a big concern for people who are technically in a weight loss phase right because you're cutting um, and so your calories are in a calorie deficit um, so by keeping my fats really high like I said I rarely struggle with hunger which you know obviously hunger is one of the big reasons why people fall off track with their nutrition goals um, so yeah I'm a big I'm a big believer in uh, dietary fat I was gonna say body fat I'm also a believer in that <laughs> But a uh, big, big believer of dietary fats and having um, a good amount of dietary fats in your diet. Do not be afraid of it. Dietary fat doesn't equal body fat. Eating dietary fats doesn't make you fat. Uh, I think that's kind of a misconception that we have still lingering from like the 70s. <laughs> but yeah, so that's kind of what meals look like a lot for me lately is uh, two or three icon meals a day supplemented with like eggs or sometimes avocado toast or protein shakes you guys know me i i don't change it up all that much especially with the icon meals like that kind of adds the variety that i might be looking for and so i just supplement with all my other faves you know so yeah um and if i haven't said it already you guys i'm an affiliate with icon meals so i have a link down below where you can purchase icon meals yourself if you're like that sounds really nice i want to stop being able to think about food so much and just have stuff ready to go you should do that and they also have a code for free shipping so I'll drop that down below as well but okay so last little spiel that I'm gonna go on today I want to just really quickly talk to you guys about the two supplements that I literally feel like I can't live without which 
is saying a lot for me because in the past I have not really been a big fan of supplements. I don't think that they're generally worth the money. I don't think that they generally make too huge of a difference. I feel like most of the heavy lifting of weight loss is really just done with diet and workouts. Um, like fat burners are just usually a concoction of unhealthy ingredients and a crap ton of caffeine and like just a lot of other supplements on the market. I just feel like they don't do much. And also a lot of supplements are just not great quality, uh, which is why a lot of them are really cheap. However, I was introduced to a supplement in around March that literally has changed my life, like genuinely has changed my life. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've heard me talk about these, but it's by, it's two supplements by the brand Protea, which I am now an affiliate of, which you guys, I have not been an affiliate of a supplement company ever in my life. And I didn't become an affiliate of this company because I like needed the money. <laughs> I very much don't need a, an affiliate supplement company. My business is doing great. I am an affiliate of this company because I believe in these products so freaking much. So let me just talk about them really quick. So Protea is by a brand, uh, is a brand by a online, another online coach, her name's Amber. I have been following her for literally six years. She has a similar story to me. She was an online, or she was a, a bikini competitor for years and then has since backed away from that and won't be, doesn't compete anymore, really just lives a more natural, holistic life. Um, and she's really into hormonal balance, which I really love. So right when the pandemic hit, obviously, like most people in the world, I was so stressed like stressed about life, about my health, about the world, about my business. I was just stressed. And so I saw Amber posting about this Protea Stressify supplement and people were literally calling it a happy pill. And I was like, I feel like a lot of supplements say that they're like mood boosting and make you feel better. But like, I feel like it's probably just a placebo. I feel like you know, I personally have, feel, have felt like I have struggled with actual clinical depression and actual clinical anxiety. And when the pandemic hit, I felt like I was really hurtling through a black hole of all of that, where just those feelings of like waking up sad for no reason, feeling just hopeless a lot and feeling like it's it's hard to get out of bed. It's hard to be motivated. You just, if you struggled with any form of depression or anxiety, you, you probably know what I'm talking about. Just feeling low for a lot of times no reason, um, hopeless for no reason, uh, just sad and just feeling like there, there's nothing to be happy about or nothing to be hopeful for. It, it's hard to describe. It's, it's a little deeper than just like, oh, I'm in a bad mood. It's really, it's a lot deeper than that. And it can feel all encompassing. And if you struggle with anxiety as well, it's just like the one, two sucker punch of making life a crap show. <laughs> um, so Amber was talking about this Stressify, which is a supplement that's supposed to help lower stress levels. It's anti-inflammatory and it's positive mood support. And it's got all this good stuff in it that I'll leave a link below for you guys to check it out. Um, but uh, she was like, literally Lynette, so many people love this. I, I want you to just try it. You let me know how you like it. And when I started taking this consistently, I feel like within three or four days, I felt like a new person. I feel like I felt the way I was, thought I was supposed to feel my whole life. Just optimistic, um, stress kind of bounced off me a bit more. I woke up feeling good as opposed to like sad and down and depressed and like hopeless. Like I actually woke up and was like, hmm, which is just not a posture I ever felt like I really have had most of my life. Most of my life, I feel like I've woken up feeling kind of low and I've ha I have to kind of conjure myself up throughout the day. But when I started taking this, I started waking up feeling just good and able to handle stress more, able to feel optimistic and problem solve better and just feel good. And like, I of course wondered like, is this a placebo effect? Like I think it's gonna work, so it does work. But you guys, I literally started taking this like March 18th or something. So like literally when the world was falling apart and I was super stressed out, we were all stressed out. We had no idea if the coronavirus was gonna like kill everybody or like if the world was gonna fall apart and be under martial law, like it was insane. It was an insane time. And when I started taking this Stressify, I felt so, just at peace, 
And it was so much easier to think with a clear head and not with anxiety brain or stress brain, um, but just a, a clear head. And so I started taking it in March. I took it consistently for months. Uh, I did go camping about a month ago and I like sort of stopped it when I was camping. And towards the end of my camping trip, which like I'm camping, which is like a super fun vacation for me, everything in life was going great. I started feeling similar feelings of waking up and just feeling down and low and just off. And that was really scary for me because I haven't felt that in a long time. And I realized, dude, you literally have been not taking your supplement this whole time you've been on vacation. And it was just crazy how quickly it made a difference. And so after that, I was completely convinced this is not a placebo effect for me. Like this is literally amazing. So this supplement, I literally cannot say enough good things about you guys. Just try it just try it. If you are somebody who struggles with the things that I've mentioned, um, I honestly think you're going to see a really awesome change by taking uh, the supplement. Um, and also there's kind of like a pair. I kind of could, I kind of feel like it's like a pairing. What am I trying to say? Like this is a good supplement to take with the supplement. So this is called Baseline Plus. It's superior hormone balance, fertility support, and a master antioxidant support. This is basically something that's going to really help balance your hormones, which a lot of women have unbalanced hormones for a number of reasons um, and that can lead to like low sex drive, problems with fertility, uh, poor skin and poor complexion, um, crazy moods, like having a hormonal imbalance can lead to a lot of things and so this is just like a master plan of a bunch of different supplements that really help support your hormones so I can't say like I can't necessarily point to anything that I feel like this is doing for me other than I do feel like my skin has gotten a little bit better and it just feels better but you know sometimes your hormones are imbalanced and you don't have symptoms to show for that but that doesn't mean that you don't need to still balance your hormones um however i will say this i do know that like everybody's hormones are different and i, I don't think you necessarily need to just like absolutely take this because i'm saying to take it technically i feel like everyone should probably have blood work done to like see where their hormone levels are at because if you're producing a normal level of something you don't need to supplement with a supplement um, but I do think that a lot of us can get lucky if we're experiencing certain symptoms of hormonal imbalance and we take a supplement like this and those symptoms go away I feel like that's that's kind of a good pair uh, like a good match we can know that we've done something well for ourselves um, so I also have heard that these two taken together really they complement each other really well that's what I was trying to say earlier um, so I take them both just because of that and because I've had such great success in feeling so amazing taking them both. Um, but if you're like, okay, Lynette, like what, what do I really, really need? You'll really, really need this. You'll really, really need it. Um, you know, you don't need it, but I, I love it so much. It's the only supplement that I take every single day without fail. Um, I just love it. So I wanted to share that with you guys because it's something that I've become really passionate about. I am an affiliate. I do have an affiliate link. I do get a kickback if you decide to purchase this. But again, you guys, I didn't do this for the money. Like this, I didn't do it for the money. I did it because I'm so passionate about these supplements and just what they've done in my life, what I've seen them do in other people's lives that I've recommended them to. And yeah, so. Um, the last thing I'm gonna have for dinner, I'm honestly just gonna show you this video is so long already. So, one second. I'm gonna have an Icon Meals for dinner. This is the Shrimp Alfredo with penne pasta and broccoli. Somehow this is only 280 calories, which is awesome. I mean, it's really not that much pasta. It's really more like broccoli and shrimp uh, with a really light cream sauce. But yeah, so I'm gonna have this for dinner. It's already 4.30, I'm really not hungry yet, so I'll probably have dinner around six or seven, I would say. Um, and that's gonna be all of my food for the day, I think. It's right around 1650 calories, like I said. Um, I don't really have a very specific calorie goal. I kind of have a range of just what I feel like my body needs that day. And as long as I'm staying in a deficit most of the time, I know that I'm getting closer to an even healthier, even leaner body, which is cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, you guys, that's really what's kind of going on in my world with like my fitness goals, my wellness goals, how I'm really focusing on taking care of me and just becoming my better best self. I know it sounds kind of cheesy, but I, I really do believe in just constantly working towards the best version of me that I can be. Um, it's no longer this game of like a race against the clock of like, I've got to have this weight off fast. I've got to be X, Y, Z. Like 
I know that the trajectory that I'm in right now, that a year from now, I'm gonna look and feel better than I do now. And two years from now, I'm gonna look and feel better than I do right now. And I know that because I'm really just focused on creating small habitual change in my habits, my mindset, my thoughts, my food, my workouts, that, you know, like I'm already in a better place than I was three months ago and six months ago and a year ago. Like, it just keeps getting better and I'm not in a rush to have to arrive right now i really have just made peace with healthy living and the process of always getting a little bit healthier and that lets it be fun for me that lets me enjoy this process instead of always being in a battle with the scale or having to fit into a certain dress or whatever um it, it just feels really good so that's really all that i have for this video you guys i know it was super long and full of information but i hope that it was helpful or interesting to you let me know down below what you thought and that's i'm gonna wrap up this super long video today i love you guys you're amazing thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye